Good morning everyone and welcome to a new episode on our channel. On today's video, I will take you with me finally to one of my dream destinations here in the Philippines. Let's go to Cebu. A trip to Bantayan Island is going to be a long day guys. So we're here in Naia Airport now and then we're heading to Mactan Airport and from Mactan Airport, magta-taxi tayo papunta sa North Bus Terminal. <laughs> Ayan guys, as I was saying, we are going to Bantayan Island and it's going to be a long day kasi from Naia, we are going to Mactan Airport in Cebu and from the airport, we are going to North Bus Terminal sa SM Cebu, sa Cebu City and from there, pupunta tayo ng Hagnaya Port and from Hagnaya Port, magroro tayo papunta mismo sa Bantayan Island It's going to be a long day pero sana samahan nyo pa rin ako and if you're interested, just keep on watching Let's go! everyone and welcome to Cebu we're already here sa favorite airport ko in the Philippines which is Mactan International Airport and for now the direction na tayo sa North Bus Terminal so magta taxi lang tayo papunta doon kasi we want to get the earliest bus papunta ng Hagnaya Port para mabilis lang tayo makarating ng Bantayan Island so let's go I'm really excited for this We are already in the taxi guys, it will take us around 45 minutes daw papunta ng North Bus Terminal And yeah, mabilis lang yung process, may taxi agad paglabas lang ng airport kayo na-update when we were in the North Bus Terminal kasi may nakita kami yung bus na palabas na napahagnaya and that's about 7.15am so hinabol namin yun para makasakay kami agad and we're here we paid 2.60 each papunta doon and yung taxi pala from airport to North Bus around wala pang 30 minutes tapos 215 pesos lang yung binayara namin so tulog muna ako and then I'll see you guys in Hagnaya Park see ya! Update guys, it's 8.56 a.m. now, about 2 hours since nakaalis tayo ng North Bus Terminal and we're halfway through our travel papunta ng Hagnaya Port and we're here sa bus stop, literal na bus stop yung name niya and dito guys pwede kayo mag dine in if you have time tapos meron silang bakery here and then, and then meron ding cafe, ayan, bus stop coffee bar Ever 
After three and a half hours, guys, we are now here in Hagnaya Port. Unfortunately, though, 11 p 11 a.m. palang and ang next na biyahe is 11:30. Here's our ticket. May ano? Terminal fee. I think terminal fee na 10 pesos. Tapos 300 yung mismo ticket. Hey guys, we're now inside the ferry and to be honest, this is my first time makasakay ng ganito kalaking ferry kasi usually fast craft lang yung mga roro, yung mga sinasakyan natin pa si Kehor or pa Siargao, diba? Maliliit lang yun. Ito yung pwedeng talagang maglagay ng mga bus, mga sasakyan and ang biyahe pala natin guys, to Bantayan Island is an hour and yeah, I'll just see you guys there. You make me wanna be with Guys, nandito pa lang tayo sa port pero sobrang ganda and kitang kita na siya agad and malapit lang dito yung accommodation natin actually. We're now here na sa free service ng La Playa Australia Resort. Mabilis lang yung bahay, I think mga 5 minutes lang nandun na tayo so let's go! Hey guys, we're finally here in La Playa Australia Beach Resort. Beach fun siya na malapit lang sa port, malapit lang sa center, malapit lang sa mga kainan, malapit sa Kota Beach, and malapit sa everything. After almost half day of travel, guys, from Manila to Cebu Airport to Cebu City to Hagnaya Port, we're finally here in Bantayan Island, and I can't wait to explore. Pero for na mag-lunch muna tayo kasi 2 p.m. pa yung check-in. Pero papakita ko sa inyo pa din tayo magpunta ng beach. So, let's go. available na pala yung room natin <laughs> so pwede tayo mag check in and I'm glad kasi dapat tatambay muna kami sa beach but yeah makakalimu na rin tayo I'm really excited to explore ang ganda ng beach ang sarap dito ang ganda dito sa La Playa I love it First things first, I'm going to give you a room tour. By the way, we got this for 3,500 pesos, around 4,000-ish. Kasi with the taxes and all, sa agoda ko lang siya binook and it's good for 4 people. So tara, let's have a room tour. Let's go! Before we start, dito tayo sa labas. So, ito yung playground. My niece and my mom are already playing there. Tapos yun yung beach. Lapit lang natin. So tara! So when you get inside, lamig agad, may aircon sila here. So may mirror ka dito and then ang complementaries nila 
are two waters tapos you also have coffee and tea tapos mainit na tubig of course and then you have hammers here and then yan may art dito then they have an aircon the room is very simple there are two queen beds apat kami isang baby and super spacious na nito para sa amin and then yan ganito itsura nyo guys Table, yung table niya naka-tiles. Pwede ka mag-work dito. And then, meron silang alcohol here. Walang laman. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's our room tour. Sobrang simple lang ng room. And it's more than what I expected. And super sulit niya, guys. So, yun. Excited na ako mag-explore dito sa Bantayan Island. Pero before that, mag-freshen up muna tayo. And I'll see you guys later. See ya! Good afternoon guys, after 2 hours since we arrived here, lalabas na tayo para mag-lunch. We had the time para magpahinga kasi it's been a long day. And we also went swimming sa beach kami ni Gianna. Nag-swim kami, super sarap. And I'm not sure if I was able to show it to you but I was able to fly the drone. So I hope you enjoyed it guys. But for now, let's have some late late lunch. Let's go! For lunch guys, we are here at MJ Square. Ito yung parang food park nila here. And although may ibang food park doon na daanan namin. But this one is also one of the more popularly known na food parks. May iba-ibang restaurants sa loob. So pakita ko sa inyo isa-isa. So pasok tayo dito. They have Korean Mini Mart here. Tapos Stick Smokehouse. Yun, variety din ng Filipino food. Mga seafood, ganyan. Tapos... Panyang here, dito tayo mag -dine. And then we also have here yung Hello Spang kung saan tayo mag gelato. And then souvenir shops. And then merong bars. Doon, yan, mga bars. And maraming pasalubong. Oh, may fried chicken naman dito. Nice! Cool. Dito siya. For this year, I'm really so excited guys. Marami lang lang ako. So, we have again scallops, tapos calamari, tapos shrimp. Yung shrimp na tikman ko na, ang sarap niya. Ito siya. Parang fried siya pero buttered yan. Sarap nito kasi pwede mo siyang kainin ng as is. Pati head. Crispy siya. Ang sarap. Parang siyang alam mo yung... Yung soft bone crab na pwede mong lutuin, gano'n siya. Yung scallops na lagay so. Sarap na ito. Ang lalaki. Mmm! Sarap din. Ang sarap ng food, honestly, lahat masarap. Pero, tapusin ko lang yung pagkain ko and then I'll let you know my verdict after bago pa tayo maunahan ng mga langaw. See ya! Gianna wanted ice cream so we, we luckily found this gelato shop. It's called Hello Spunk. Ito yung tsura niya. Actually, uh, mura siya for a gelato ha. 110 pesos, 2 scoops na. And malalaking scoops. And then 130 pesos, 3 scoops. And then I also got her... Parang ganito. Pwede lagi na ice cream pero you can also play with the sand with this one. So bumili kami niyan. 50 pesos lang. Total of 160 pesos. Super sulit na. Guys, sarap ng food sa Panyang. Hindi ko na masyadong na-film kasi ang daming langaw. So yun yung con ko, ang daming langaw. But the pro, sulit siya. Mura lang. Ang sarap. Fresh yung food. Fresh ang iluluto when you order and yeah, ganda ng vibe. And ang daming mabibilhan after. Yung mga pasalubong, ganyan, dessert. So, dito na kayo sa MJ Square sa Panyang. Marami. Actually, iba-ibang stores marami. Pili na lang kayo. So, 
Just me, I hate how this feels to have to be fake But the fake feels so real So here's Kota Beach guys It's like a sandbar Kasi merong water sa pagitan ng mga sands Hey guys, we're here at Kota Beach pa rin. Sunset na actually nag-set na yung sun. It's so beautiful here guys Kaya marami palang tao dito kasi sobrang ganda naman talaga niya Especially with sunset Although yung sunset niya nandoon banda I mean hindi siya sa side na to Pero makikita mo pa rin dito yung afterglow And yung sunbar dito ang ganda And itong parang pool na to ang ganda din Yung Kota Beach Resort ang ganda rin It lights up at night parang mas... That's how you throw it on away in a small town Everybody's talking cause they know Everybody's talking cause they know now Yeah, it's pretending to be an ice cream shop Oh, so this is ice cream Can yeah. I eat it? No, that's not a real one It's fake lang? Yeah, that's pretending to be an ice cream shop For our dinner guys, we are here at Isla Sogba and if you're not familiar with the term Sogba, Sogba is like Ihao in Tagalog. So, ang mga um, binibenta nila dito are mostly seafood actually and mga Ihao. What we got is Isla Signature Soup for 325 pesos and then Mixed Seafood Seasling for 225. <laughs> So, kanin, yun. Medyo marami tayong seafood for this trip, no? Kasi yun talaga yung masarap dito, guys. So, yeah. We're just waiting for our order and then I'll see you guys later. Let's start with seafood. Actually, seafood naman both. I mean, sizzling seafood. So, we got shrimp, scallop, squid. Ano pa ba? Yeah, yun palang nanonotice ko so far. So, may scallop siya, guys. Ito. Mmm! It's very good. Just alam mong may kick sa ng anghang, but hindi siya yung super halata. So we have here yung mismo soup lang. Okay, naman yung ano refreshing yung sabaw. Parang perfect siya if may sakit ka. Ano pa siya? Gingery. Hey guys, we're back here in the resort. It's 10pm already. And sobrang dami nangyari today. Ang haba ng process. Ang haba ng oras na hinugol natin sa pagpunta ng island na to. But one thing is for sure, it's very worth it. First day pa lang and I feel ko na agad na sobrang ganda ng lugar. And sobrang saya ng experience. First day pa lang. And this day has been so remarkable for so many reasons and i hope one day guys you get to visit bantayan island to explore and discover its beauty because you deserve it for now let's call it a night i'll see you guys tomorrow bye